months ago. The search began for the best home cooks to compete in the world's biggest cooking competition. Master Chef! Master Chef! They came out in the thousands from all corners of America. New York City! Los Angeles! Chicago! I'm an air conditioner salesman. I'm a housewife. I'm an ex-NFL player. Look, do you have what it takes to be the next master chef? I'm a carpenter. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I am a professional wrestler. All in pursuit of a place in the master chef kitchen. It's perfectly seasoned, really good. A professional cook would be proud to put a dish together as good as this. That is one of the best dishes I've ever tasted. Thank you. you. But only a handful will get to prove themselves to three of the biggest names in the culinary world. Graham Elliott. To me, a master chef is constantly innovating, trying things with food no one would ever dream of. Joe Bastianich. The hallmarks of a master chef are elegance, sophistication, and finesse. And Gordon Ramsay. A true master chef cooks every dish as if their life depends on it. A master chef puts perfection on every plate. Go! Those who make it will have to endure some of the most intense. Speed up, everybody! And extreme challenges Master Chef has ever seen. This is ridiculous. That will push everybody. Come on! To their breaking point. You better shut up, or I'm gonna gonna knock you to out. Ugh, this is a joke. That looks dreadful. They'll serve under the stars, as well as for them. Eva Hungoria. Shut up! Amazing Jane Lynch. Welcome. This is the biggest cooking competition show in America. It's a battle for the title of MasterChef, a quarter of a million dollars, and their own cookbook. Only one will be crowned America's next. MasterChef. Chef is a dream. This is to get my foot in the door on something that I'm super passionate about. Instead of sitting in my kitchen every day cooking, I have an opportunity to show people what I can do. People probably look at me and think that she's a good looking girl, but can she cook? Totally, totally, we're here to prove them wrong. I have the concentration, I have the ability to be the next Master Chef. I love to cook and I love what food does for people. It brings people together, but I really want to win Master Chef. David slew Goliath, and Goliath never saw it coming. Hey, watch out. Winning Master Chef is definitely going to make a better life for myself and my son and make my culinary dream a reality. I hope and pray that the judges see in me what I see in myself. Now, 100 home cooks will get the chance to present one dish that could change their lives forever. Just an elite few will win an apron and earn a spot in the next round of the competition. In the end, only one home cook will be titled Master Chef. Welcome to Master Chef. Congratulations on making it this far. You have already succeeded where thousands have failed. You are about to do battle in MasterChef. Which is the biggest culinary competition in the world today. And what happens at the end of all of this? Fame, notoriety, and this. Quarter of a million dollars. But if you came here just for the cash, then leave now. Money comes and goes, but what's inside this box? will ensure your culinary legacy. The MasterChef Trophy. Look at it. That is the proof that your journey from home cook to MasterChef 
has been completed. At this moment, the winner could be any one of you. We only care about one thing, what you put on the plate. If it's bad, you'll go home. But if that dish is extraordinary, you'll be getting one of these. A Master Chef apron. Do you have what it takes? Do you have the skill? Do you have the guts? Do you have the passion to become America's next master chef? Good luck. I can feed three of the best palates in the world right now. This is an incredible opportunity. So many people tried out for this, and for me, this is like a chance of a lifetime. I got this, I got this. This year, I know the judges are tough compared to season one, two, and three, but we're gonna give it a shot. From the thousands that applied, just 100 home cooks have been invited to Los Angeles. They'll have one hour to create a signature dish worthy of a Master Chef apron. Yeah! First up is Natasha, a 26-year-old stay-at-home mom who thinks she has all the ingredients for a winning dish. Today is the day that's going to change my life forever. I have the confidence and the energy and the level to just bring it. I'm a stay-at-home mom. My son, Diego, he just turned one years old. I love to be in the kitchen. Diego, what are you doing? And I can't spend as much time in the kitchen as I'd love to because I'm constantly being on the go. The most important thing is that the judges taste and see my food. The competitors, I could really care less about. It's my time to shine. I would not be here if I didn't think that I was going to get an apron. Each home cook is given just five minutes to plate up their dish. If two of the three judges think they have what it takes, they'll win a coveted Master Chef apron and move on to the next stage of the competition. Good evening. Hi, guys. How are Hi. you? First name is? Natasha. Natasha, you got five minutes. OK. What are you doing? I'm doing uh, dos empanadas with two sauces. I got a skirt steak and a chimichurri sauce. Rock and roll. All Let's right. Go. What's the food dream, Natasha? I would like to have something that people can go to and feel like they're walking into their own home. You know, I know what they want. They know what they want. It's very casual, very fun. And then also in the evenings, kind of turn it towards a little bit of a cooking class. You can come and try different flavors that I've learned and have fun. Can you turn the gas off, babe, before we all blow up? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like me, fiery, smoky, hot. <laughs> OK, guys. Presentation, it looks beautiful. Yes. Would you guys like some beer with us? Yeah, why not? OK. Why not, why not? You're not trying to get us drunk, are you? I mean, I don't mind. You don't mind? So. so here I've got a ground beef, hard to tell on trees, though. And this one? That one's a Swiss chard, fennel, and some Parmesan with a roasted corn puree. Is that the best you can do? Thank you. It's beautiful. Is this really how you cook, or is this like some big rehearsed thing? No, honestly, this is how I cook all the time. Did you make your own pastry? Yes. I didn't think you could actually pull something off that, that tasty. Um, it's got a lovely balance. Um, chimichurri, absolutely spot on. And empanada, yeah, I mean, you've nailed it. Uh, for me, it's a... Uh, uh, 100% uh, yes. Delicious dish. You could, you could serve that in a restaurant anytime. Bravo. Very good. That's a big yes. There's three things. You have a fighting spirit. You call it as you see it. And then you make food that's like that, that you can just eat over and over. Great job. Come on up here. Oh, my god! Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Here you go. Oh, my Way god. Here you go. 
Good job. Thank you so much. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Thank you, All guys. Right. I'm on top of the world, honestly. I'm not shocked. I know I was going to make it. I feel like people now are a little bit intimidated. They're like, wow, she's a good-looking girl and she can also cook. I am the next Master Chef. So Natasha is the first to win an apron. Our next hopeful is from San Diego. Can 19-year-old Christine turn her ambition into an apron? My dream is to be one of the best chefs out there, up there with Gordon Ramsay and Graham Elliott. I'm not selling for anything less. I know people are gonna underestimate me because I'm young, but I have bigger dreams than anyone out there. I don't wanna just become a chef. I wanna become one of the best chefs ever. Hi, I'm here. I can see you. First name is? Christine. Uh, how old are you? I'm 19. 19? Yeah. Wow, I think so far the youngest in the competition. Yep, the youngest. Right, what are you cooking? <laughs> I'm cooking a Korean duck for you gentlemen today. Oh, nice. Yeah. Five minutes, the blow is away. Are you intimidated being out there, being the youngest contestant? No, actually, I'm really excited. I know people are looking down on me because I'm young. Underestimating you. Yes, underestimating me, definitely. Oops, sorry. You have three minutes left, so. Three minutes? What? Wow, OK. You okay? <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> it's duck with what? Um, actually, it's a kai bean marinade, which is um Korean short ribs, but I use duck instead. Right. Are we ready? I think so. So, is this like a sort of lettuce wrap? In Korea, when we eat Korean barbecue, we wrap it in lettuce and have samjang sauce, yeah. which is the sauce on top. Do you want to take the fat off? Yeah. Because uh, that's white fat, right, which is raw. And okay. Yeah. So you roll that up? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Thank you. <sighs> the actual meat is really good. Thank you. Yeah. So this is a recipe that you invented, or...? Yeah, I invented it. <laughs> I love Korean food and Korean barbecue. You've lost the humbleness of it, almost like you're trying to run before you can walk, so... I'm a no. Uh, Joe. Gordon, I think you're completely wrong. For me, it was a perfectly cooked duck. The rice is delicious. The sauce is unbelievable. I think the dish is a little ill-conceived, but as components, fabulous. I love it. For me, it's a big yes. Thank Good you job. So much. Graham? Um. I can do this. I wouldn't be here if I think I couldn't do it. I can show you guys if you give me the chance, definitely. Christine's Korean duck has left Gordon and Joe divided. I'm a no. Gordon, I think you're completely wrong. For me, it's a big yes. Now, Christine's Master Chef dreams are just one vote away. I can do this. I wouldn't be here if I think I couldn't do it. Here's the thing. You're young. You've got natural skill for me. It's a no. I'm sorry. I want you to continue cooking. I want you to use this as inspiration to get back in the kitchen and keep moving forward. But unfortunately, it's not Master Chef quality. Thank you. So Christine failed to get her apron. Did our Master Chef search across the country 
unearth any raw talent. For what we're making today, fresh, grab it. Eating ostrich? Ostrich egg frittata. What are you cooking? Wild bear. Wild bear. With my own special rub. Deep fried giant water bugs. Giant like water cockroaches? They're water bugs. I'm excited. I've never had bear. Would you like to smell my rub? <laughs> yeah. I have no interest. Steven, smelling your rub. <laughs> I chopped half of the rare end because they're pretty salty. Do you cook with rabbit a lot? I do. We have a 40 acre plot. That's where we raise them. We use a 22 gun. One quick shot to the head and they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like rabbit had in the plate. It's a no. For me, it's a no. That was barely edible. It was barely legal. Graham, I couldn't bear it. After a run of wildly unsuccessful dishes, Brian from Texas hopes his unusual ingredient will help get him an apron. I cook roadkill on a weekly basis at the house for the whole family. This is a beaver tail right here. It's very difficult to flay. I don't want just the apron. I want the trophy, man. Taking it home! Taking it home, baby! I'm ready for this. I can't even sit down. I'm ready for this, man. But do I have to sit down? <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Good evening. Have I got something for you? Can't wait. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Brian. What are you cooking? Uh, this right here is a shaved and stripped Cajun beaver. Stop it. It also comes with frog chips. OK, you have five minutes to prepare it, so go to it. Stripped and shaven beaver. Uh, something very unique about beaver, uh, they eat a lot of our mesquite trees out there. So I shaved off some mesquite bark off the tree and incorporated it into my Southwest Cajun style seasoning. Aren't you just a crafty guy? Hey. What does it taste like? Uh, it's a, a little richer than a beef flavor slightly, and slightly gamey. What's that? This is the actual tail. So I fillet it open. The beaver tail. The beaver tail. Wow, that's intense. How'd you kill a beaver? Jab him, he jumps around, I pull my 22 and pop out. Homemade. 15 seconds to go. I'm finishing the beaver tail right now. It's incredible. Done. It smells great. Thank you. It literally, you could pass that off as beef. I'd have to disagree. Asian style beaver. There's a lot of stuff going on in the dish here. I've never quite had anything like that before. The secret behind this. This particular plate is really the seasoning. It's almost like an orchestra of flavor. If you start from the top and go all the way to the bottom. It's got that depth of seasoning. The foundation's there. Interesting. Uh, Joe. Are you turned on by the beaver? I like beaver as much as the next man, but this is like a serious cooking competition, and... Um, I don't buy in. I'm a no. You're a bit of a freak for beaver. I will not let you down. But is that one of the tastiest dishes I've tasted in this competition so far? Yeah? Thank you. I'm a yes. Thank you. Graham. OK. I want this so bad. I'll show you. achieving my goals, not only just for the 250,000, but my God, the title, Fireworks, baby! Oh! Oh! We're good. Coming up, it's one of the best 
opening dishes that we've ever tasted. Joe predicts this year's Master Chef winner. You are the one to watch, my friend. Yeah! And later, a Master Chef first. Would you marry me? <laughs> so far, only two home cooks have walked away with aprons. <laughs> while many more. For me, it's a no. Sadly, I'm a no. I'm sorry, for me, it's a no. Have met with disappointment. I'm here to kick some ass. Ken Jordan, a 29-year-old from Minneapolis, deliver the goods. I'm a delivery driver, but I'm not on this earth to deliver packages. I have my father and my uncle here today. I dropped everything to come to MasterChef. To be here means the world to me. It means that I can live a culinary dream of mine. I'm here to kick some ass. I'm here to debone the competition and flambe them, man. Hello, chefs. How are you? I feel great. Right, first name is? My name is Jordan. What are you cooking, Jordan? Ancho chili tostada. Great. I got uh, one of my key sauces that y'all gonna love. You got five minutes. Get All right, it go. sweet. Where'd you learn how to cook? Uh, I learned from my mother. She taught me early to uh, bring people over, give them food that they like. You still cook for her now? She actually passed away five years ago. This is her apron. I gave it to her when I was about 14 years old for Christmas. Um, it means the world to me to have something, something that reminds me of her with me. She died from brain cancer, so when she was under the, the decline, that's when I kind of started picking up the ropes of the family get-togethers and whatnot. What would she be thinking right now? She don't swear much, but she would say, holy <laughs> You seem very intense, very serious about what you're doing. I don't screw around. What do you think about the competition out there? There's some competition. Food-wise, I'm not seeing a lot of technique. But I'm going to bring you some technique. What's in the bottle? This is a cilantro mint aioli. This is kind of my secret sauce. Some ginger, there's a lot of lime, and then there's some serrano. You'll feel a little heat. Done? I'm done. Where are you going with the presentation on this? I'm an artist, I like to paint a lot. And uh, I like to bring that into uh, my plates, a lot of color. So you paint as well as cook? Yep. All right, so nice plating. Thank you. And how'd you rate your food? A 10, chef. Wow. A 10. Graham? I don't know, Jordan. I'm... I'm... Looking at that right there, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. That there's not a plate for each of us. That is so damn good and refined and just exploding with flavor, I just want more and more. So I'm a huge yes. Good. Yeah, I mean, you're a delivery driver. Correct, And in chef. my mind, you have delivered one hell of a impeccable, beautifully balanced dish. I'm a yes. Jordan, come here. Come around. Stand up here with us. That's your mom's apron? Yes. Take it off. Hold on to it tight. I'm going to tell you something that would make your mom really proud. That dish, it's yeah. one of the best opening dishes that we've ever tasted. You just raised the bar. Oh, um, thank you, guys. You are the one to watch, my friend. Keep your mother close to your heart. Oh, Keep my this God, you guys. Neck. Thank you so much. Uh, great job. Thank you guys so much. Well done. Thank you. Unbelievable. Huh? <laughs> Incredible. Everything thought out, well planned. Unbelievable. I did this for my mom. She would be 
blown away that I was even in this situation and that I get to bring home an apron for now. That's absolutely incredible. Oh. Love you, Dad. Coming up. Howdy, gang. A round of dishes the judges find hard to swallow. And what's the twist? Breast milk. And later, Master Chef history is made. I take it that's a yes. So far, aprons have been hard to come by. Howdy, gang! And things aren't looking up. Good evening. What are you cooking? I'm cooking braised pork shoulder with salsa verde. That is drier than a camel's Are they dry noodles? <laughs> yes. We're going to eat raw ramen. I mean, I ate it. That's fine. I am making a baked macaroni and cheese with a major twist. And what's the twist? Breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a habanero shrimp pasta with banana slices. Raw mushrooms, chocolate brownie, lettuce. New cake. Ah. <laughs> oh, dear Lord Jesus. <laughs> OK, what's your critique? It fills you up. It's nutritious, it's delicious. The brown rice vinegar actually helps with muscle soreness, mm. irritability, and fatigue. How'd you make it this far? Well, I am a good cook, normally. But the thing is, there's actually no oil in that dressing, so you can really lose weight. Can we just finish the sentence first? I feel like I've just kissed a bison's <laughs> That is disgusting. For me, that's a no. Joe. No. For me, it's a no. Oh, you've made history because it is the worst dish we have ever tried. Congratulations. Thank you. The thing is, I'm a fourth generation cook. You can leave now. I literally could make everything at the age of 15. And I thought this would be fun and whimsical. So, you know what? I took a risk and I couldn't make anything technical, but I wanted to give you guys something different. So, thank you for your time. I appreciate it, chefs. Our next home cook is Adriana, a New York resident whose culinary journey began in Mexico. I'm from a small village called Vista Hermosa. The house where I grew up had no indoor plumbing. As a kid, I was playing with mud, and I had names for all my cows. <laughs> I was around food all the time. The basis of everything that I cook, it's always inspired by something that my mom taught me. I'm making a prickly pear cactus soup. My parents are coming today to support me, so I feel really proud of being able to present this dish that I grew up with. My family's supposed to be here, but I don't see them at all. I hope they get here really soon. ¿Tienes el mapa? ¿Por dónde? Yeah, I have the map. Okay, vamos a regresar allá y nos vamos por... Dad, you're not going to make it on time. If my parents don't get here in time, it's going to really, really suck. Vamos hasta el... Uh, ciento... ¿Qué? I really wanted them to be here for this. ¿Ciento cinco? No. Ah, no. But, you know, I got to still go in there and do my best in front of the judges. Correle, vamos a ver a Adri. Hi. 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 First name is? Adriana. Welcome. What are you cooking? I am cooking prickly pear cactus soup. Right. It has guajillo peppers, puya peppers, has cumin, onions, garlic. And I'm also making some dry shrimp croutons for you right now. I really enjoy the way that the dry shrimp has that saltiness that's going to go really well with right. the chili. Excellent. Did you dust the soup with the shrimp? Yep, I just wanted to get some crouton-like consistency for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little. This one has some egg in it. That's it. Thank you. Is that tomato or just chilies? It's just the chilies. Okay. Is this what we're using? Yeah. So basically, this is what you're eating. Right. Without all the spikes. <laughs> of course. I think that it's complex. I like the use of the chilies, the fact that the cactus is being showcased, also that you're staying true to your roots. It's a yes for me. Thank you so much. Listen, the dish was good, but you've got some obstacles in front of you. You're a very sweet girl, and that competition is fierce. 
I'm unconvinced. Uh, for me, I'm a no. Please, John. I want this so bad. <laughs> Even though I like the soup, I don't think that you can hold up. I think that you're gonna get chewed up like a rag doll. I will not. I may be nice, but I'm tough. I can promise you that. You're not afraid to stab a lobster in the back with a knife? When I know I want to do something, there's nothing that's going to stop me. Adriana is hoping her Mexican cactus soup is good enough to earn her a Master Chef apron. With a yes. I think that it's complex. And a no. I'm unconvinced. It all comes down to Joe. You're not afraid to stab a lobster in the back with a knife? When I know I want to do something, there's nothing that's going to stop me. Adriana starts a run of success. I am a big yes. With four other aprons flying out the door. Thou shall not cook without one of these. Congratulations. Yes! Huge yes. It's a 100% yes for me. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Great thank job. Chef. Pretty well done. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah! Can 33-year-old George from Ohio continue the celebrations? How you doing? How are you? First name? Uh, George. What are you cooking, bud? Uh, I'm cooking Greek wedding soup. Wedding soup? Uh, are you married? I, I'm not married yet. No. All right. Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, yes, I do. She's actually outside. I brought her here with me, and uh, I've been carrying the, the wedding ring with me in my back pocket. I've been carrying it uh, probably about uh, you know six months now. Ooh. What? So you have a wedding ring in yeah. your pocket? Yes. Wow, so what have you got in there? Is that a, a lamb meatball? Yes, that's a, it's, a, it's a lamb meatball with ground beef mixed together. You ready? I hope so. So normally they roast or lightly saute the meatballs off first, a little bit of color so you get a bit of flavor in the broth. Yeah. Sorry. The thing that I really do love is the broth. I think, like, on a cold night, a big, big bowl of that. That's, not, that's really delicious. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You think they put butter in the soup and grease? Um, just a little bit. Not too much. Yeah, I don't yeah. think so. Yeah. So, a wedding soup. Joe. I couldn't think of anything more of the antithesis of Greece than butter. So for me, just based on that, it's a no. Thanks. Graham, yes or no? I love the broth. I thought it was really tasty, and I want to see what else you can do. So I'm a yes. Thank you. Is your girlfriend here? Yeah. Yes, she's out there. May I have a quick word with her, please? Yes, yes. I think we're going to waste our time with this guy, Gordon. Hello. Hello. And first name is? Maria. Maria, how do you rate Georgie's cooking? It's excellent. You love it. Because right now there's a dilemma. Joe's a no, Graham's a yes. And... <sighs> George. I am not giving you an apron. It wasn't good enough, but... There's a bigger prize you could win, and I think it's about time that you man up. Come up here. Sweetheart, <laughs> there might be all these great chefs in the world, and we'd love to eat at the restaurants, but I want to be the only chef to cook for you 
for the rest of my life. Would you marry me? <laughs> I take it that's a yes. Yes, oh my god, oh my god. I love you, sweetheart. I love you too. Hold on, George. Well done. Thank you so much. George, at the wedding, do not make that suit. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Uh, well done. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well done. Wow. <laughs> oh man. Oh my <laughs> George! Yes. Opa! Opa! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm not walking away with the apron, but I'm going home with something that money can't buy over here, and this is the love of my life <laughs> for the rest of my life. Thank you. Coming up, a feisty family from Philadelphia is left... Yo, Adrian! ...speechless. You just don't know how nervous I am. As the first day of auditions comes to a close, our last home cook of the day is Chrissy, a single mom with a fighting spirit from Philadelphia. I am a single mom on a budget. Money's tight. I'm in a one-bedroom apartment. I sleep on the couch. I'm just trying to keep myself afloat and take care of my kid. So for me to branch out and do something like this is an accomplishment. It's for you, Mikey. I love you. Oh, my God. Mikey loves Gordon. He's literally his culinary idol. My son was actually the one that said, Mommy, you can do this. What Chrissy doesn't know is that her son has just arrived from Philadelphia to cheer her on. Mommy! I'm here for him, and I'm here for whatever can come out of this and hopefully give us a better life. I love you! I love you! Hey, guys, how you doing? Good to see you. First name is? My name's Chrissy. I'm from Philadelphia. What are you cooking? Um, I made a uh, stuffed meatloaf Florentine oh, with a Fontina cheese sauce and uh, what my son calls dreamy potatoes. Chrissy, you've got five minutes to blow us away. All right, let's go. What's the food dream? Um, I would really like to uh, bring luncheonettes and uh, homemade Italian food back to South Philly. You know, I, I want to do like, uh, you know, like I grew up, like ravioli, stuff like that. If, if you say you got meatballs, I think people should be able to walk in the door and have a meatball, you know? So you bring a simple meatloaf, and that's going to propel you to the kitchens of MasterChef. Is that the plan? It got me to L.A., didn't it? <laughs> All right, let's put it up. We want to try it now. Let's plate it up. There you go. Great. The secret of the meatloaf, what's the blend? Beef, 85, 15, and it is a, uh, Italian sausage. The center? It's a Parmesan cheese, a little bit of heavy cream, butter, onion, a little bit of garlic. Really nice color okay. uh, on the browning here. Mm -hmm. um, here's the thing. It's a family-style dish, right? Right. And family's important to you? Yes. Your son, he's here? Yes. Can we meet him, please? Absolutely. Just be yourself, OK? I don't want you to be nervous. I don't know how nervous I am. You're all right, Meg. It's okay. He's 
very nice, don't be nervous. He's so nervous, he loves you, Gordon. <laughs> this is Mikey. Come forward, buddy. How are you, dude? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you, good to see you. It's good to see you, too. Now, what do you want to do when you grow up? I want to be a chef. Why? Because you're a big inspiration to me. My mom is a big inspiration to me, and it's just been great. Wow. Give me a little insight to how good a cook mum is. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate her food? 11. Wow. <laughs> what would you do if she won? I would cry, and I would give her the biggest hug ever. Chrissy, I think you've got potential. It's a yes from me. That is you on a plate. It's a yes for me. <laughs> Congratulations. Come on, Come on Mikey. Do hey, this to your mom. <laughs> Put that on your mom. Uh, you have an amazing mom there. Look I know her. I do. Well done, Chrissy. Great job. Thank you. Really good job. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, guys. Take care, bud. I knew you could do this. I knew it. <laughs> oh, a little misty. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you.